Hello everybody, today this is going to be a very quick tutorial to show you how to add a skip button to your opening, which I forgot to do last time, so let's get right into it. So first, go into your opening widget and create a new button and just drag it and drop it onto your thing here, your opening. Get a text button, not text button, just get a text. Put it on there. Uh, make the button go into background color and just make it transparent. Good, now for the text, we're gonna change the color to green. You can make it whatever color you want. I just wanna make it green because it's one of my favorite colors. And just have the text block as skip, name it skip. Button, you can name this the skip button, skip. And now go into your event graph and get out your skip button and do on clicked, remove all widgets, then do create new widget. And we're going to have our loading screen. Add to viewport. Put that in there. And then have a delay. Or about, we'll do five seconds. And then after that, we can open level by object reference. And we'll do our third person map or whatever map you're going into. We got to mention that once you have it open up the level, you want to add that line of code that sets the mouse cursor to false so that you can actually play the game. So it's get player controller, then set input mode game only, and have set show mouse cursor to false. So just hit compile, save, and you should be good to go. So you're also going to want to get your opening and from here drag out of here and type in close and drag that into here and the reason why we're doing this is because since the media player is in the third person character the media sound uh, when you go into the third person map and you've skipped it the media sound just keeps playing and if you want to have background music it'd be really annoying if two songs are playing so this close feature just turns it off when you open up the new map so I hope that helps so let's hit compile, save, let's uh, try it out now, press start, okay we're loading into the opening, so here we've got the opening, hit skip, it puts up the loading screen, and there we go. That's how you make your skip button for your opening, and I hope you all found this helpful and I'll see you next time.